Hello everyone, uh, it's Annie. I did a video a few weeks ago but I've been a little bit quiet. Um, family life has taken a different turn and so this little video is out there for my brother who's lying in hospital in a coma. He's fifth week now suffering from coronavirus. Um, however, that aside, the purpose of this video is in line with my work and in line with my family life and it's called The Colour of Courage. And I was wondering on the back of my work with grit if courage was a colour, what colour would it be? Um, so it's been really difficult in the past few weeks for me personally not to desaturate colour from my own life and from the life and the work of my colleagues um, across Twitter and across obviously my institution. And so that led me on to still wondering that, you know, I've got to be courageous, so what colour would that be? And as we've been walking and doing our hourly walk a day with the dogs and we've seen rainbows pop up around the estate and around the streets and indeed in my own house, much to the dismay of the neighbours, um, I just wondered what could I do with this piece of work? What could I do with colour um, relating it to courage? For those of you who know me, um, you know I've got an inner magpie and anything for a bit of sparkle and a bit of colour is important. And so I looked at um, rainbows and I thought about how can I link this to the work with um, my learners and also for colleagues and what's been going on out there in, in the world while we've been all been working at home. So I've come up with this. I think red in the rainbow could be for resilience. How much have we had to bounce back in the past few weeks from difficult situations and how much will we have to bounce back and help and support learners and colleagues who may have gone through a grief in these times when we actually go back to what we think is a new normal certainly I don't think it will look the same um, then I took orange and I thought what would orange be objectivity some of us are being asked to um, make assessments on learners based on what they've already done so here we've got to be objective got to be non-biased which we all are then yellow yellow for me has been about your um, own inner strength I think a lot of us have read and listened to people find it really hard to find a work-life balance being at home. Some of you have had to homeschool. I've got friends who've been in isolation all on their own. I know we had to find inner strength when not only with what's going on with my own family, but also my extended family the same. And we've had to find inner strength to support each other as well as all of us still being at work. Green, I thought, would be for guidance. How much guidance have we given to each other as colleagues? I've seen virtual staff rooms pop up. And I think a lot of guidance is going to be needed for health and wellbeing um, for staff, colleagues, and particularly for learners. We're very detached. We're missing that socialisation. That humanistic approach is not really achievable online. So we're going to have to look at how much guidance we're going to have to give when learners go back into the institutions. Blue, for B, compassionate. There's been a lot, I think, of inequalities with learners not having access to laptops. There's hardship out there with families, not being able to get food deliveries, not having the money for food deliveries. And there's been a lot of loneliness. I know I've supported people uh, on Twitter with loneliness. I, for indigo, integrity. Um, I think we build trust and integrity with each other it's the foundation of our relationships um, from colleagues and friendships that we make. V, violet, versatility. I know I've had to be really versatile being at home with my other half, who's drove me a little bit insane, not to say the least, he's not here. Um, and then obviously those of you who are homeschooling, versatile in our approach to different pedagogical approaches with learners. And so just to end and round up this little video, I'm going to be doing some much more reading and writing around this topic and I think I can develop lots of activities from it when I'm working with the learners. So whilst colour might be missing from your life right now or in pockets or in moments, I'm going to ask you the question, how can we reflect light and hope and colour in ourselves into the education system when we return to what is going to be a different normal? Maybe we don't have the answers. And let's end with a bit of cheese. Maybe the answers are somewhere over the rainbow. Cheers.